क्वेश्चन इज ए यूनिफॉर्म प्लेन वेव इन ए पॉर्शियली रिफ्लेक्ट फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ ए मटीरियल उस प्रॉपर्टीज आर अन मेजरमेंट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन द रीजन इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरफेस ईल वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर स्पेसिंग बिटवीन द मैक्सिमम एंड द मिनिमम विथ द फर्स्ट मैक्सिम अकरिंग एट पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर्स फ्रॉम द इंटरफेस ए स्टैंडिंग वेवरे शो फाइव इज मेजर डिटरमाइन द इंट्रेंसिक इंपीरियंस ऑफ द अनोन मेटीरियल हियर The spacing between the minimum and the maximum is nothing but in general. Here, suppose if we consider the field is in this form. This is the minimum. This is the maximum. The distance is lambda by two. Here, this is la min minimum point, whereas this is maximum point. Where the field has its magnitude maximum, here is the minimum. Now means lambda by two equals to one point five meters. That means lambda equals to three meters. If we know the lambda, we can decide what is the frequency of operation. That is c by lambda. That is three into ten power eight meters per second. Divided by three meters, which is nothing but hundred megahertz. Again, the one more data given in the problem is the first maximum is occurring at a distance of point seven five meters from the surface. Man, suppose if we consider this is the load end. Here, the distance where first maximum is occurring. His this distance is point seven five meters. Means the minimum is occurring at the load end because this is point seven five meters is nothing but lambda by four meters, which is equals to point seven five meters. Means the minimum is occurring at the load end. That means the reflection coefficient gamma is. Negative as well as real. Here, the reflection coefficient gamma equals to s minus one by s plus one. We know the standing wave ratio. S is the standing wave ratio here. S is five here. Five minus one by five plus one means four by six, which is equals to two by three. Means gamma equals to minus two by three. Which is equals to eta minus eta naught means th this is the intrinsic impedance of the material. This is the intrinsic impedance of the free space. Eta plus eta naught. So from this equation, intrinsic impedance of the material is intrinsic impedance of the free space divided by five, which is equals to seventy five point four ohms. The option B is correct here. Here so the question is: It is desired to estimate. A stationary random process S of t with power spectral density S of f equals to one by one plus f square, comma. Given a observation, that is, given a noisy observation S of t plus n of t, where n of t is additive white noise with power spectral density equals to one. Assume that S of t and n of t are orthogonal. Full stop. The transfer function of the optimal MMSE filter is here. The transfer function is given as power spectral density of a stationary random process that is S S of f divided by a, a noisy observation that is S S of f plus S N of f that is nothing but one by one plus f square. Divided by one by one plus f square plus one. Here, one by two plus f square. That means the answer C is correct. Here the question is: A binary PAM communication system employs a rectangular pulses of duration t b and amplitudes plus or minus a to transmit digital information at a rate of 
10 power 5 bits per second. So, if the PSD of the additive Gaussian noise is N0 by 2, where N0 is 10 power minus 2 watts per hertz. The value of A that is required to achieve a probability of error equals to 10 power minus 6 is. Here, since the rate of uh, transmission R equals to 10 power 5 bits per second, means the bit duration TB equals to 1 by R which is equals to 10 power minus 5 seconds the probability of error in PAM is equals to Q of under root 2EB by N0 which is equals to 10 power minus 6 that is possible if and only if 2EB by N0 equals to 4.75 we know EB equals to A square TB. Now from this EB equals to 4.75 square into N0 by 2 then A square TB which is equals to A square TB. Now from this if, you, if we solve this one we will get a as 106.21 which is option D is correct. Here the question is a communication channel has a bandwidth of 100 kilohertz. This channel is to be used for transmission of an analog source M of T where magnitude of M of T is less than 1 whose bandwidth is 4 kilohertz. The power content of the message signal is 0.1 volt. Find the ratio of the output SNR of an FM system that utilizes the whole bandwidth to the output SNR of a conventional AM system with a modulation index of 0.85. Here we know a signal to noise ratio of FM to the signal to noise ratio of AM is equals to 3 into modulation index of FM whole square by modulation index of AM whole square which is equals to 3 into here bandwidth of an FM system equals to 2 into into that is FM that is the maximum frequency or the bandwidth of a message signal here Here equals to channel bandwidth is given as 100 kilohertz 2 into beta f plus 1 into 4. Here from this beta f we will get as 11.5. We know the modulation index of amplitude that is beta m equals to 0.85. If we substitute these two values in equation 1 we will get the ratio in db as here this we will get as 27.3967 db which is the option c is correct question is match the least one with least two here there are two types of mosfets n channel mosfet p channel mosfet if we, if we want to operate n channel MOSFET in enhancement mode, that means if VGS increases, the current has to increase. Whereas in depletion mode, when VGS increases, the current has to decrease. See here, if for n channel ma enhancement MOSFET, the VGS is positive. If VGS is positive, ID increases if VGS increases. Whereas for depletion MOSFET, when VGS increases in negative way, the current has to decrease. So, according to the explanation, for the P channel, N channel enhancement MOSFET, P equals to 1 matches Q equals to 2. Whereas for P channel MOSFET, we can operate P channel in both the ways that is enhancement as well as the depletion. So for enhancement, enhancement, VGS must be negative. So option 4 is correct. Whereas 
for S that is p-channel depletion MOSFET option 3 is correct hence P1 Q2 R4 S3 is the correct answer